I think you actually have to click live to, to go live. I, I did. You're not live. Or yeah, no, there's a delay. Oh, now we're delayed. Okay. <laughs> you know what how the, those work, What's up, guys? Welcome back to RPEG Electronics and Brad D. He is in Bumfuck, Ohio, and we're going to do Dayton. Clark. Oh, Dayton, Ohio. Oh, Dayton, Ohio. You and know. he's over here at Clarkade uh, with this big ass Game Boy. There's Brad for scale. And uh, he is on cellular connection right now, so uh, bit rate quality will not be as good as our last few streams. Yeah, this is a this is a uh, this is a, a dirty stream here. They were just gonna go super low tech with this, um, but yeah, this is this is Clarkade. This is a vintage game store and arcade just outside of Dayton, Ohio. Um, and I was passing through town, and I thought it'd be a cool thing to you know show you guys some of the great stuff they've got here. Um, so starting with like. You know they've got some of the more modern stuff like the uh the the, the giant mobile games and whatnot um but that is just the tip of the iceberg um so we're gonna go ahead and walk on back for those of you guys watching we don't script this shit or anything brad was like hey you want to help me like admin a, a stream like at like you know six o'clock uh, on a random day i'm like yeah sure no problem let's do this <laughs> <laughs> so this is these are the rows of the the games uh there's multiple rows of games for sale but that goes back into the arcade. Uh, and it's a much bigger arcade than you would imagine because when you first walk in. Um, so what we got here is tons of sit down cockpits, shooters, stand ups, pinballs. And uh, yeah, it just kind of keeps going and going and going and going and going down this way. It's um, yeah. Now, like I said, look at this, look at this. It's a space gun with the original topper and everything on it. Space gun. <laughs> Going down here. These are all yeah, original, the, right? It looks like they're, they're all original. original. Yeah. Uh, there's the occasional one that you'll see with an LCD in it. So here's an example. Here's a uh, karate champ that's got an LCD in it. But the vast majority of these are still running all of the original hardware, all the original components. And... Uh, so like here's a there's a Dragon's Lair two, like not in a refurb Dragon's Lair one cabinet, but an original Dragon's Lair two cabinet dedicated. Um, and then uh, you got a couple of these crazy things back here. So I'm gonna definitely want to play some of these here with you guys later. This is Gunslinger Stratos. Ray, do you know this oh, one? Oh, I did that yeah. mod one. That's a fun, but that's a a gyro gun, I think. I it's, oh, no, it's, that's a, it does have okay. LED sensors, but there's also multiple controls in the guns, and it's actually you need. I, I can't do it one handed because it's a one player game, and two you'll guns. actually use two guns with different controls on them, dual analog sticks. Uh, and when you want to do your special attacks, the guns connect, and that uh, does yeah. a different weapon. So and they're metal. They're real metal, and if I remember they, correctly. They are, yeah, they are, they're die-cast metal. So is that a House of the Dead 3 original? In the that back is a House of the Dead 3 original. It says coming soon because it's being worked on, but this is a House of the Dead 3 original. With, oh! These, are, these look familiar. Oh, those are gems now. <laughs> yeah, Those right? are like 700 bucks if, if you can get them new. Is, those are beautiful. two of them. So, and then... Ask um, them if, if they want to sell that. <laughs> <laughs> right? And we've got... Uh, this crazy game here is, uh, let's turn this up. The sword game. So, oh, Ninja uh, Maison. Uh, Maison. Flash of the Blade, exactly. Okay, we so, have to play that one. We have we to have play to this play game this because I've right. never got to see this in real life. And the last time I was here, this one was being worked on. So it's working now, so that's pretty excited about that. Wait, hold um, up that sword uh, and then hold up uh, your, your foot for, for scale. My foot for scale, Jesus. <laughs> If you got that joke, <laughs> the was black, too. So, um, okay, so uh, in here we got, uh, I mean, I could just go down the aisles and name every game. I think I saw a Tapper. Was that an original we Tapper? Definitely, yeah, we definitely have an original Tapper here right next to original Crystal Castles. So, uh, Ghost and Goblins. So, and then a Baby Pack for those pinball slash video game hybrid fans. So, and... Uh, what do we got? Punch Out, Four Player Simpsons, Battletoads. <gasps> Battletoads. Battle versus Battle Capcom 2 okay. original, too. Of course, MVC, too. Yeah. Wait, feel, feel the so. joystick. Is it the Pico 360 joystick, or does it feel oh. like you replaced it with a hat? Oh, no, that is the 360. That's the Pico 360. That shit's like 500 bucks. I was expecting this to be a little clicky, like a, like an eight way, and that is not an eight way. Oh, okay. the red That's fancy. Stick. We got to try that one. 
Let's see if it really makes you play better. No. No. Turtles oh, is at the max volume right now. All right, we got uh, four people watching. J Rod, Eric, of course. Joel's in, and uh, someone named Gecko Man, who's new to me. Hello, Gecko Man. Gecko. I think I think I know Gecko. If it's the Gecko I'm thinking, I know Gecko. Um, the uh, we've got a Gauntlet Two, like you know, the original four player. Like it's a lot smaller than I remember. <laughs> but yeah, with this one, we got a lot of our four player games. Uh, we've got a Rampage World Tour here. Sunset Riders, Team and T, and X Men over there. Uh, here's a Carnival with the original shotguns. So, the Samia Thomas Wave ones, yes. Yep, the Thomas Wave pump actions. Uh, a Robocop, which, you know, I just love the, this Data East cabinet with the rounded marquee on the front of the Robocop. And oh, this one's fair. familiar to me. We have a Deluxe Smash TV with the original bezel. And uh, it looks like the original marquee on here, too, because this is what mine looked like when I first picked it up. Um, Paperboy, these things are like people go nuts for some paper boys so and uh before the stream started i was showing ray they have a sega time traveler the holographic sega time traveler all still fully functional so looks like in great condition too like they, yeah, they no, it's great. or they repowder coated or something well it was always this like it's got a little some scuffs on it but it was uh it was always a really shiny finish this was a multi-cabinet they put one or two other games in it but they were more like educational like interactive like uh encyclopedias and stuff Mm. Um, but the time traveler is what I remember. Uh, it's a lot, plays a lot like Dragon's Lair. It's going to be a little hard to show on screen because, in addition to the mirrored effect for the hologram, it is a CRT powering it. So there's going to be a refresh rate on a lot of the games here tonight. But I'm going to do my best to show that to you guys. So we got some sit down racers, H2 Overdrive, Jamboree, Crazy Taxi, and we have a deluxe afterburner cockpit. So now this is the motion cockpit with the reverse. The four and back uh, motion. Now, the, now, last time I hear, the reverse motor has been disabled. What, like, first? Oh, oh, lo, lo, lizard showed up. <laughs> hey, man. How could I, I not come were, in and say hi? I thought you were busy. I am. I got to log in in 20 minutes. So <laughs> oh, uh, uh, B said to make your screen bigger and me and Joel smaller so that they can see more of the. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Joel, can you? Oh, yeah, thank you, you Joel. There we go. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, B, for reminding me to do that. So, I'm texting. Um, yeah, no. Oh, they got an afterburner. They got, it's a, the, the deluxe cockpit with the rolling frame. Oh, God. You know? Terminator 2 all over again. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so, um, we've got uh, super bikes. Okay. Fast Bear super bikes. Uh, a couple of the Marisonic Olympic full size deluxe. Oh, these are, these are newer ones. Matchup yeah. boxing. And then we have a uh, Silent Scope 2. <gasps> so, then. Is fully it working? functional with the yeah. yep, fully working with the screen in the uh, in the, uh, the scope. Oh so, man, see that's that's um, a grail uh, for me. Oh, they got a Wii. They got a Wii. Fucking um, what? Oh no, yeah. Joe, got, I'm so glad you're here. So, so many kiosks. So many kiosks. Oh, so there's a Switch kiosk. kiosk. That's the one that I have. There's a game. There's a GameCube one down here. Oh my god, I remember we have that kid. Shit. A 360. Oh my god, they we got have an original Xbox. Xbox. That's my Xbox One. Xbox that's the same one. one PS4, this one's still wrapped up. Looks like that one's being, coming soon here. But let me take you to the back. So these are the aisles and aisles of like used games for sale. What was that? A Paperboy? Yeah. They oh, hell yeah, yeah. Paperboy, yeah. yeah. Paper they got me on the Paperboy. They got me on the Paperboy. So here's an original PlayStation. My buddy has this that. This is a PS3 kiosk. Nice. Oh, by the way, uh, Dark Silhouette full environmental version is here. PS2 kiosk. One. Wait, oh, Dark Silhouette? Oh, Dark Escape, you mean? Dark Escape. Oh, wow. Dark Escape, yeah, I've environmental. It's a modern a game, too. You never, you never seen one of these? This is the full environmental one with the, the air cannons and all kinds of crazy stuff. So no. Yeah. I mean, I barely played it on Namco 357, so. It's, it's uh, this is one of those things, like, we, we emulate a lot of this stuff, right? But when you get the full environmental, the way it was intended, with it, you know, we're talking about original controls, unique control schemes. It has a heart sensor, about, too. It has a heart sensor that's in the gun that actually, you know, you, know, you, just, uh, you just walked by a punch out. Yes, it did. Yes. <laughs> Does it have the lift? Can the joystick lift up? The yes, it does. <gasps> yep, guard up, guard down, and uh, Ray was just pointing out we've got our 360 joysticks on MVC. Nico 360 joysticks, five hundred dollars each now. Wow. So, but back to what I was wanted to show Joel is the rest of the kiosk hidden in the back here. All right. Again, more of the used game section. 
But here we've got a Sega Saturn. Oh, wow. Oh, beyond my you generation. Don't, you don't see many There's of those the at all. classic Dreamcast. You've, you've had one of these, Joel. That's what so, I got. I still got mine, yeah. Yep. We have a, uh, that's my Sega kiosk. That's exactly yep. what it looked like. You can see the multi cartridge, and you can see that the, the multi cartridge in there. Yep. yep. Was it Genesis yep. or Master DS16. System? DS16. Well, this is Genesis with the uh, cartridge switcher in it, and then we've got this Pokemon Snap Stadium. Oh, exclusive! Oh wow, my Yo, childhood. That's an eight thousand dollar kiosk. Hey, what are those little rooms behind the kiosk for? Oh, um, masturbation. This is... That's what I was going to say. <laughs> The hookup they've room got, for nerds. They've got sections for tournaments. Playing so card tournaments? It's not set like, up right here. Here's um you see a bunch of monitors, and whatnot. Oh, uh, yeah. I see. It's yeah. probably like Street Fighter tournaments. Dude, stuff. that's exactly. kiosk heaven. Right? Yeah. No, kiosk are crazy. Um but Energy the, uh, in heaven. We can we'll visit this little place together if you guys want. Ohio's not that far from us. We're in Ohio. Ten hours for me. Really? Is Dayton, Ohio? Oh, yeah, screw it was, that. That's uh, like seven hours. Well, sorry, it was ten hours because I was I was taking the long way with the electric car, so I stopped to charge a lot. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, you got some of this stuff in behind the glass case here: Virtual Boys, old speaking spells, uh, you know, uh, personal computer components, the Atari four hundred data recorder. Uh, over here, we've got PC games, tons of Atari ColecoVision era stuff. Got our Genesis, more Genesis. Look at all those so Genesis sixty four. Wow. These, these, are, these are cartridges. And then you got into the NES. Then we got box NES. And then we got like some of the rare stuff in the glass. Oh, what's so, in the case? Like a lot. Oh, they might be resealed. Don't, don't, don't forget. Yeah. The, most, of them, most of them are probably resealed. I doubt they, they came in original case, like original new in box. That's you unlikely. Can't. Uh, I don't yeah. think it, no, I wouldn't. I don't think a video game store would resell a fake box. At least not. No, there's a real box. I mean, it's like a, you know. It's it's resealed. It's oh, not like a sealed. Yeah, sealed. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Right. So I'm gonna sealed go for a second. Nowadays, it's ridiculous. Oh, do they have guns? Do they have light guns in the back? They have a lot of stuff. Let me switch to the front camera so I can just uh, do a little FPV here. Let's see, camera, back camera. <laughs> nice chin. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, cool. What are we doing here? All right, so back into the glass case. Uh, now up here, we of course it's got some systems up on the back wall. Pretty much like every system you can think of it back there, including peripherals. Here we oh. got more cartridges. While you're Here's there, a... ask them how much an original PlayStation is. If they still if they sell it, I, I saw one up there. It's got to be like uh, 120 bucks. Let's find out. Hey, because my friend was begging me for one. So some of the guys are asking, oh, "What's your pricing currently on original PlayStation?" Uh, original PlayStation, we're selling those guys for about forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine, Joel. And then how much in box? The minis, the minis start at uh, uh, fifty nine ninety nine. And I don't care about the box. One that actually has the, uh, built-in okay. That one, oh yeah, the, we, with, they even do have they have anything the, with HDMI PS, mod? So they have the PS one with the screen with the flip of screen for like one forty nine. Ah. Nice. So, that would be the yeah. mini PS one. Do they have exactly. anything with HDMI yeah. mod? If that they did, that'd be great. Not a lot of mods here, but I did notice this Nomad. So <gasps> Ooh, how much that might, did you oh, get for that Nomad? That's like that three hundred bucks. Yeah, I might go home with Brad, so I'm not telling you what that's going for. So. Yeah, so how much? I have one, so I'm not going to oh. buy it. <laughs> After we're done with this, help me buy that PS1. I'm going to gift it to a friend. It's a very good friend nice. of mine. Bro, nice, I can nice, get you a nice. PS1 like tomorrow if you need a PS1. Oh, then even better. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go a little quick handheld to look at the rest of the arcade here. Back over to the arcade. Okay, so we're going to see. Let's go to pin, let's go down to Pinball Row. So let's start here. we got that Pinball 2000 system with the Revenge from Mars. Wow, and we've got a uh, we've got a Star Trek. This is the I think this is the data. Yeah, this is the Data East Star Trek. Not to be confused with the Bally one. Hook, Lord of the Rings, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Turtles. TMNT. Yeah, this is that newer one. Uh, nice. Yeah. No Game of Thrones had a pinball. Huh. We've got an Adams Family completely LED'd out. So, right. fun house, Pinbot, Fire. I always love Fire when that bell at the top goes off. You know. Arena, so pretty, pretty good collection of pinball machines here. It's a big oh, double place. dragon. Oh, double it just kind of keeps going, right? It's like, come on, double dragon. Oh, you know? That's my baby. Wow, they got these Glitter in great condition. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a lot of these are very, very good condition. This Kid Mickey screen is a really, really good looking. It just like wow. pops out. Here. And we have an original Space Invaders Deluxe. This is with the color overlays. It still has the mirrored uh, screen going down there, so 
Very now, cool. I was telling Ray earlier that all of these games have been modified to run on cards. So you have rechargeable cards that you can like load up at the front of that uh, store. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. The, uh, we should offer that as a mod on our arcades. Like just like, hey, scan your card <laughs> or like Venmo right? scan into a, like a, a trigger for the, the coin button. <laughs> was so, that a Simpsons? Oh, oh huh? definitely a Simpsons. Yeah, definitely. We've got a four player Simpsons here. We've got a four player TMNT over there. Um, I was I was what? showing Ray earlier the space gun. Oh, cool. i never seen Look one of those that. in person. Oh, you've never seen one of these? Oh, my God. They're almost never intact. The shell here is really brittle after all these years. Right. Um, but this will light up when you're playing. But it's got the original, you know, guns here. So, but yeah, the triggers of these are really kind of unique. It's a, it's a little, it's not really a trigger. It's just kind of a piece of a flat plastic that pushes in. It's not clicky at all. So it's just, you know, it kind of, it just, just feels fun. good. It, the ergonomics are really great. So it's right next to, of course, T2, which the ergonomics, we've all known T2. This gun doesn't feel nearly as good as the space gun. The space gun's got weight to it, you know. Um, but yeah, it's just nobody remembers space gun. Everyone just remembers Terminator. So, but we got Choplifter, Dragon's Lair, Ooh. Tekken Tag, Tron. Wow, yeah. I never seen you know? a real one of those. You never seen a real Tron? No, it won't. Back oh, in the day, no. oh, the third, the second screen's not working. Yeah, well, no, it was always a trans light. So the light is out, and actually, also looks like the the black light here is out. This is no. a, this is a fluorescent tube. But the screen's in pretty good shape, and you know, and cosmetically, it's pretty good. So, uh, what we got? Dragon's Lair two. So the Tempest is out of order, but this is the this is the money stuff. This is Gunslinger Stratos, you know, which I I definitely have to play, play some of these. So this has to be like the one of the first things I play here, guys. So I'm gonna go get the tripod, and we're gonna try a little Gunslinger here. So, did you? Where did I leave my tripod? I left it back around Pinball Row. Yeah, I got a see Maison in real life. That that one is not like a grail for me. <laughs> I want to see how okay. they, they detect the, the sword. That's the interesting. Wait, oh, is, that, yeah, yeah. is that too spicy on the right? This no, that's uh, Para Para Paradise second mix. This is a ah, uh, this is this is none, yeah, none so of us are motion tracking up here. Ah, uh, none of us are in shape for this. <laughs> this exactly. Is, yeah, I think this works on the IR break and the IR beams between right. here and here. So, uh-oh, Dance Dance Revolution just kicked in, so I'm deaf. Um, <laughs> and we have the original Joel. We have the original House of Dead 3 that's being worked on. So, but we're going here. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Do uh, you guys want to see uh, some Gunslinger? I want to see some Gunslinger. All right, let's do some Gunslinger. All right, let me switch my camera. All right, bear, me, bear with me, guys, while I set up the tripod here for Gunslinger. I hope that I don't accidentally cut the stream off while I'm doing this. Guys, I'm going to go do my login. I'm actually doing a login with Vidal tonight. Remember Vidal? Oh, oh Vidal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to set up his racers tonight. So I'm, uh, I'm going to hop off here, and I'm going to go do his setup. I'll check yeah. back. If you guys are still on when I'm done, I'm going to be like an hour or longer, though. So. No, Take that's good, cool, man. Tell, tell, tell Vidal yeah. we said hi, you know. Have fun, and, uh, guys. Thanks Enjoy for this. Dropping in. Thanks for thanks for having me, guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> See ya. Okay, you're centered or relatively okay. centered. Relatively centered. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my first charge of the card for the night. To so note, little... they didn't give him a free card or anything. We're he's still paying for this full price. <laughs> I offered. I, I like to support small business. So. Now this is where, like a lot of Japanese games. It actually has headphones to just sockets for um, down here with volume adjustments. But we're going to be just playing this the old-fashioned way here. All right, one credit and two. I think it needs more than one credit. All right. Yeah, it needs more than one credit. Okay, here we go. Two point three play. All right, here we go. All right. Two two. two. How's the accuracy on that? Let's see. Let's find out. All right. Because with the phone pointing, sometimes the IRs get screwy. Well, let's see. The okay. Uh, yes, I'm picking character. Start. One point one oh, play. This is... Oh, this is all Japanese okay. version, right? Right. Yeah, it's all, yeah, totally good. These the, these metal guns are pretty crazy. Dual analog sticks, different buttons on each one, and then of course there's that magnetic combine function to uh, power up your gun. So the calibration is, it's not bad. It's not perfectly dead center, 
This is a 10 IR system, five on top, five on bottom. It reminds me of houses that had four deluxe. So, and let's go ahead and get through this part. All right, cool. So let's see what the analogs here do. Uh, oh, I'm in tutorial mode, yay. All right, yep, tutorial. There's our target. Okay, so. All right, so left, anal left analog, move your character running around. And then we have a jump button on the right gun. Maybe that's fly, not jump at that point. Right, right. So. Basically, just give me a tutorial about how you can jump like this. I'm supposed to land right to this person. Boom. All right. Next tutorial. More jump button tutorial. Let's go. Next target. Oh, so it's kind of like too spicy, but with more movement. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of verticality in this game, which is why the second analog is for looking around. Okay, cool. So more jumping tutorial. <laughs> I gotta skip this. I should I think I hit the button. I didn't hit the button to skip tutorial, so we're stuck with this for a second. Okay, so this is actually shooting. Oh my god, I actually get to use the triggers. All right. There you go, and start. Okay, so that's left gun. So right now, left gun is the only one shooting right now. So here. They need, now they say, oh, your enemies have little life bars above them once you start shooting them. All right. And this is the combined gun. All right, and so we'll lock the guns together. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, we'll lock the guns together. Oh, okay. I think the right gun trigger is broken. Oh, no. Ah, oh, boo, refund. Boo, you have to use the right trigger when they're locked together. Then it's, you're basically shooting this one. So, but it is a magnetic contact sensor. If I just break them apart a little bit, see, the guns lose and they'll put back together. And. Oh no, what it is is uh, the, the right gun isn't calibrated. Left gun's on screen, the right gun is showing it's off screen. Okay, oh, okay. so, yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's unfortunate, okay. But still a neat game, still a neat game. Well, there's a little calibration work, but you know, the metal guns, the magnetic locking features, all of the movement controls. It's basically, you're not playing on a rail shooter anymore. You're playing it's a giant console game. So, but. All right, let's take you over to your sword game. How about that? All right, let's see it. All right. Let's see where we're going to see this. All right, let's see. All right, this okay. one should be very impressive. I want, so I, I think there's a ring around that, that, that somehow senses the sword. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, you got your uh, sensors up here in this arch. Okay. Credits two of two. Great. Okay, there's a big start button here. Pick up our sword. How long is this sword? It's reflected on screen. Should I slice the yes? Uh, the sword is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's good to Okay. Yeah, so it's talking about the center area plus star button. All right. I was playing this with All a right. lightsaber gunfire arm mod, but the sword looks better. Yeah, it's like a foam sword. It's pretty cool. Still? So, yeah. I can't believe they found okay. an original for this. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, that's so cool. And you can block. Well, I didn't block correctly, but. Wow, the the, the, the mirroring and the centering is pretty good. It's pretty good, right? I don't know how well you can see that, but. Like, I know this game uses a mouse emulator, a mouse positioning. is actually only caring about the point of the, the blade, but... Can you change off. your angle of the blade and let's see if it's reflected? Change it, like, uh... Yeah. 
Oh wow! Right? The original one's better. Oh, you can hit him multiple times. Oh, that's cool. This is not a long game. I know that, but oh, so there's a block. That's a block. That's a block. Oh, look, that's the sword game that you were playing. That's in real life, though. Okay, so the trick here is not to overextend the sword. If you get too far past the sensors, it'll lose tracking. So I gotta stand back a little bit. But actually, this feels pretty intuitive for blocking yeah. the sword strikes. Like, Don't forget, you know, this is Sega Naomi. This is not weed. Yeah. Oh wow, you can you can hard so carry. Just, I can just hold there and block the sword. You just gotta get the angle right, which I didn't do there. So, and then swipe back. Wow, that that oh, I really want to play this in real life now. Shit. All right, Joel, get me this kiosk. I want this one. <laughs> this is totally. This would be a showstopper to have in your house. And you can destroy the environment too. So I was just cutting up a bunch of spears. So. I wonder how it's detecting the sword. It's not IR. I think it's magnetic or something. Maybe. No, I'm blocking the IR beams with the sword. So there's a, there's a, there's like a roll cage above me here. So. Can you use your arm instead of a sword? No, I think there's something about the material of the sword here. But uh, yeah, pretty neat stuff, guys. Yo, that's that's the best, most intuitive like arcade I've ever seen. Like, so here's that sensor crash bar I mentioned. So that's what you're you're swinging through. So there's something inside that blocks it. Interesting. Yeah. So. Can you imagine modding that sword for like a bigger one? <laughs> That'd be a good mod. <laughs> right? Right? Cool. So, um, okay. Now, I wanted to try out this MVC2, see if I can tell the difference between this crazy contraption and uh, my original Street Fighter 2 cabinet I have back over in the basement. Um, Street Fighter okay, 2 so was using um, HAP. Uh, HAP, yeah. Yeah. So I've got the ILs in mind, um, and uh, but yeah. So let's go ahead and I want you to uh, reinform us about the the special nature of the original MVC two joysticks here. Okay. In so anyone who's actually managed to play on the original MVC two, all right, the buttons are IL uh, Euro uh, buttons, but the sticks are Wico three hundred and sixty, which means that they are actually infrared. Um, they're kind of like it's not analog, but uh, shit, what's the word for it? Um, uh, uh, yeah, no analog. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Basically, there's well, no. They're like it's it's hat. It's more like a hall effect. No, it's not hall effect. It's not magnetic. It's, not. it's actually uh... because I'm not feeling any switches being clicked yes. when I move there's it. There's no so switches. It's just like it's a linear IR. movement it's, uh... of the stick. Shit, there was a, there was a mod for sandwich that lets you do it, but it's su it's supposed to be super smooth. And they're collector's items now. Really. Yeah, let I mean, me look up the price for three. Oh, the three. resistance is really even across the entire. You know, yeah, the because there's no switches to press. Nope. That's why it like, feels like it's Hall Effect or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, it feels like Hall Effect, but it's not Hall Effect. It's not magnetic. It's, uh. Ah, shit. Oh, I like it. So one unit is five hundred. It's $250 now for one week of perfect 360. Oh, optical. That's the word. It's an optical switch. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So there's no physical switch that you're hitting. So not not magnetic hall effect, but an optical no, sensor. No, optical. So yeah, you're like, breaking the like optical the sensor. That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, are the, do the buttons feel different? Did they replace the buttons? Or there is no, the buttons 360 feel, buttons too. No, these are definitely clicky buttons. Okay, so they're, they're, they're still yeah. using the original half. Yeah. Wico did make a an optical button where you had to add five volt to each button. It was pretty nuts, but that that I, I felt was not too necessary. The yeah. stick is is very smooth on that one, from what I heard. No, I mean, whether or not you're good at the game, that's a whole nother <laughs> story. I know one move, and you just, you, I gotta get him to walk into it. <laughs> Half circle forward, top two buttons. <laughs> so the fierce pick and punch are not working, unfortunately. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 has no fierce. It's only a, oh, it's only a light, oh, medium, and then the last one is a switch out. Um, it's a switch out character. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Wait, so all buttons aren't working? Person. 
No, no, no. Yeah, no, they are all working then. I was just, yeah, one doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, but that makes sense. Right, yeah. The fierce one is a, is a partner button in, in Marvel's Capcom 2. I lost the bet on that one. Yeah, pressing the feet, both of the red buttons will uh, and half circle four will do a triple super if you have the power bar, which I do not. Which oh, you no, do I not. Don't. Fun trivia: Psylocke is actually a British woman trapped in an Asian woman's body. Yeah, that's weird, right? Yeah, it's that. It's so for whoever likes X Men, X Men ninety seven now is a great show to watch. The continuation of the original. And I know every guy got hard for Psylocke back in X-Men Mutant Academy. Wrong super! You did the kick super! No! I said I played games. I didn't say I was good at the games. There so. you go. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? Feeling-wise, did it feel better? or you? No, or no, okay, no. The, the sticks feel amazing. Uh, again, there's... It's like a linear resistance in all directions and no micro-switch you have your... your you don't feel any click at the end of it. It's just None. it's just a smooth engagement. Um, so especially when you're doing like the rolling circle movements for the special moves, it, it's different. You know, you when you're doing the uh, the sandbox stick, for example, if you're trying to do like a dragon punch, you're like counting the clicks. Like, yeah, you click, feel three click, 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 click. Right. Yeah. This one, you're just doing one linear movement. Yeah. So it just feels better, you know. Um, I might actually just get a pair of these just for my new Vic Vic VP build. That that these are like holy grail sticks. Yeah. Um, okay, Very so expensive. what am I going to do here? All right, I'm going to go back over here, and I was just talking about Space Gun, so I'm going to play a little Space Gun. Let's see how Space Gun shows up on here. Oh, that doesn't show up so bad. All right, cool. All right, so we'll get some Space Gun on here. Do, 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 do. So I had actually never heard of this one either, but when I made my first shooter cabin in Aliens, I was looking for Aliens, you know, themes like light gun games. And somebody on my YouTube channel said, you got to put Space Gun on there. I'm like, what is Space Gun? Well, Space Gun is really inspired by aliens. You get a little motion tracker in the middle of it there. This is Nintendo made, I think, right? Uh, Taito. Oh, Taito, right, right, right. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and just do two player. There we go. Now we're double gunning it. But yeah, you got the motion tractor, you got uh, humans you have to save, and colonists, you're on a space station. I mean, it's very much a game of its time. You know, I would have been all about this when I, if I had seen it when I was younger, being a big fan of the Aliens franchise and whatnot. So now, I believe it should have, a, it had originally had a recoil, which it does not seem to have the recoil intact anymore now. No. But... But the guns are ergonomics are really good, and there's a nice weight to it. Uh, it doesn't feel like that clunky, like the T2 guns, where it's like a plastic gun on top of the metal base. Like the whole the whole gun here is like is metal. Um, kind of like reminds me of Operation Wolf. Like the whole gun uh -huh. is like metal. So, but uh, yeah. Yep. All right, and that was Space Gun. <laughs> so, but yeah, the um, yeah, a lot of these monitors are in great shape. Uh, virtual fighter looks pretty great too so but the uh but i think i'm gonna move over here to one of the cockpit games so well, let's see what's going on with cockpits do, 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 so i'm not sure if you guys can see afterburner or not let's find out we can get afterburner soon. Ah, all right, that'll do. All right, kind of, yeah. More can or you less. see anything, right? Yeah, we can see the screen. It's got a, like a like a mirror-ish effect. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to here, hold the stream for a second. I'm going to rip right back. Let me Good. grab. I left my power card over on Space Gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. All right. You know what I'm going to do for Afterburner? I'm going to go handheld inside the cockpit for Afterburner. So let me switch the camera. 
and back camera. There we go. Okay, so this is the, the cockpit for Afterburner. So uh, throttle down here, nice. main stick. Now, this is the one that would roll back and forth when you tilt it forward and back. That, that's that been disabled right here. It's just kind of in a tight space. Speaking of tight, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this was not made for adults in oh 2024 god. size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of want to know how they did that card mod. That's interesting. Right? Ugh. Okay, so there's the controls down here. The start button. This is a recessed screen, I think, right? It looks like a Terminator 2 yeah, type. It's just recessed. a little bit. Yeah, a little bit recessed behind this thing. I know. Oh, this is the original Afterburner. This is not Afterburner Climax. No, 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 this is decades before Climax. I'm so used to, like, the emulation version of this. Man, this is high speed back then. They really wanted your quarters. Yeah. Now, imagine being in this thing, and then every time I'm going up and down, the whole cabinet is rolling. You know, people would gather around to watch you play the environmental version of this game. I think Retro Ralph did a video of that one before where he got like almost nauseated playing that one. Right? Oh no, um, I, that was the crazy gyro one that spun you like in 360. That wasn't Afterburner. That one came later. I forgot what it was called. Um, yeah, Galvin Ghost, I think, has one. Ah. Um, yeah. But uh, Ralph, actually, Ralph got one of these cabinets, one of these exact Afterburners uh, with the rolling. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, it just rolled. Oh, it is working. Oh, nice. Oh, no. It's working. I'm getting back in. Oh, and I just died. Oh, my God. It just started working. I was about to quit. Woo! Or I'm showing the outside so you can see what is happening. Oh, it's okay. I see it. I see the little movement. Oh, wow. This is, must be an expensive-ass cabinet. <laughs> oh, my God. It just started working. That's amazing. All right, so we're refueling. Now I want the camera outside of the cab so you can see it rolling here. <laughs> oh, I guess it only rolls after a certain point in the game. Oh my God! So okay, the CRT moves with the with the controls. So you can see the CRT is tilted behind the bezel. Wow! Right. And then we take damage. The whole thing shakes. And this like nineteen like pre two thousand technology too. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Okay. This is crazy. So I'm gonna put this back on the tripod just so you guys can get a picture of this thing working. All right. Because now that it's working, I thought it was disabled, but it is clearly not disabled. We're going to... Okay, so I'm going to try this again just so you guys can see this thing in action from the outside. All right, how's it look? Okay, yeah, it's clear. All right. All right, cool. All right, now we're going back in. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, here we go. How much is a credit, by the way, just out of interest? Like, what's the uh, modernized cost now? I don't know. I have to go check. It's done in points. Okay, so, all right. So, yeah, like before, stage one does not move. So, make it to stage two. And I don't think that's when it's going to start moving. That's your reward, I guess. So, right your reward just... for paying is movement. Hmm. For winning, you can get oh, past for... stage one. Uh, all right. Marriage 101. So I'll just go into a full burn here, see if I can power through the first stage. Because I know you guys can't see the screen from there. We so. can see a little bit, not much though. A little bit, yeah. You know, you know for just an iPhone and a tripod, this, yeah, this isn't working out so bad. Okay, here we go to stage two. Let's see if anything, anything starts working here. And then I just got shot. All right, but that's one life. I got plenty of lives. Okay. Here we go. Oh, please stop moving all of a sudden. <laughs> I wanted to start moving. <laughs> da, 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 da. 
da 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 from this angle, I just see Brad jerking his right hand on this black thingy, <laughs> like... Okay, reloading weapons. No movement. Let's see. What did I do that started the movement before? Just randomly kicked in? Let's see. I'm not crazy! It was moving! I swear to God! <laughs> Wop wop wop. Wop wop. Let's see. Oh, well. Well, it okay, moved well, when you got out of moving. it. It was moving, right? So. All right, let's. All right. One moving on. One. Moving on. Moving on. After where it was teasing me. Okay. Now, as mentioned this to Ray earlier, uh, this is the holographic time traveler. Let's uh, put a credit in and see if we can get this to show up at all on camera. A little bit. See, like a little floaty right. thing. Yeah, let's get the game started and see if we can get. I'm just more impressed by the condition and the gloss of this one. Like, I would right? love my arcade to, this, to be this glossy finish. Right? Oh, yeah, okay. you can see it. A little bit. A little bit, okay. Oh, I, went to the I see a guy right. going down a hole. Okay. Okay, so. Wait, did you just shoot a random woman? It was uh, natives trying to kill me. Oh. Okay, That's a little racist in this one. I'm amazing. So we'll go ahead and well, we're going to get the angle here, right? So we'll play now. The, the death animations were kind of my favorite part in this, kind of like in Dragon's Lair. Now we're in this tutorial here. So there's something called a reversal cube, and this was to basically back up to undo. It's like an old save state. You know? uh. So, all right. So we're going to the year 2552. Oh, no, we're starting in 1873. All right, so this is the Old West. And I'm going to die on purpose so you guys can get a, a death animation. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then the wizard yells at you for not shooting sooner. And I'm not going to shoot sooner because I love the death animation. So come on, kill me. Amazing. Time Traveler is amazing. So, <laughs> That's pretty crazy technology for, for 19 something. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's a cavernous area here, but you have a... Uh, a, a curved lens and the, the CRT shining through that onto a mirror. So it's it's really something to see in person. So, all right, let's see. Let's switch camera and back to front camera. All right. Cool. All right, front camera, tripod. Okay. So. All right, Ray, what else did you want to see here? Uh, let's see you. Uh, Marvel's Captain 2, I saw Street Fighter. Okay, that, that's a common. Let's find something rarer. Something rare, that we won't be able to narc, see. Uh, Jungle King, uh, Battletoads Arcade. Not a lot of people see Battletoads Arcade. But, Battle? Uh, Is that a modern one? No, that's an old one. No, 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 no. It's the arcade. Well, first, you know, it started on a console, but this is the uh, this is the the beat 'em up arcade game. Uh, oh, so, okay. Yeah, uh, 1994. So, do they have any other shooting games? Version. Any other like uh, uh, light uh, gun games? We've got Carnival, and let's see here. Of course, House of the Three is out of the order. As out of order, um, you got the mounted game games. We did, you know, T2. We did Space Gun, and there's. Oh, they have one of the old um, uh, uh, full motion video gun games. Like this one's Six Gun Select. 
But, oh, uh, this is uh, like a like an action old, replay, yeah. Yeah, 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 like the Mad Dog McCree. Kind action of Max, stuff. Action Max, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always think Mad Dog McCree when I see those. In fact, actually, this is Mad Dog McCree. Uh, yeah, so the cabinet is six gun select. Da, da, da. Oh, so it looks like it's a yeah. So it's a multi paid for those. You could switch between Fast Draw, Bounty Hunter, Mad Dog, and Mad Dog Two. Mm. So it was a it was a multi version of the old Laserdisc uh, light gun games. So, but this right now it's playing Mad Dog McCree right now on the on the track mode. So let's see. And where's my Carnival at? Let's see how let's see the condition of these autonomous wave shotguns. Try and get an angle for a Carnival. Ah, so this is CRT technology, three LED. Yep. So you can shoot real close. Real close. These are cute, right? You should do some more of these, right? They're way smaller than the uh, House of Dead stuff. Is the pump green on this one? Yeah. On a, huh. and it's black on that oh, one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right. I know. I only know the black one. Of course, it shoots like a gun where you have a bunch of shots and you just pump to reload. Yeah. But... Remember how hard this was to run a main for the longest time? Yeah, because it was a CHD game, and a lot of people didn't know how to, you had to calibrate the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, you can get, like, right up in there. <laughs> and I died, because I'm playing with the gun. <laughs> yeah, so, the, uh, this is, uh, this has been Clark Key. so... All right, so well, thanks for uh, helping me join the uh, to run the stream here, Ray, and walking around and checking out the place. Um, I am going to keep playing Afterburner. I'm going to be here for about a week or so. I'm going to be coming back and I'm going to get Afterburner and I'm going to get a video of it moving from outside of the cabinet. I'm going to figure out what the trick is. And I'll be putting it up as a YouTube uh, short and also over on my TikTok. So stay tuned. Oh um, yeah! Uh, if Joel can't get me to PS One, I'll, I'll need you to help me grab that PS One over there for, for fifty bucks. No problem. Uh, yes, yes. We're, we'll we'll talk offline. And I, like I said, I'm going to be here for a week, so let's talk with Joel. And whatever Joel can't get you, I'm going to come back here and hook you up. All right. Yeah, this looks so, like an awesome we'll, place to visit. Uh, if, I guess uh, if you want to post the um, uh, well, I guess people can uh, Google it. But I was going to say like post the address for them on the description. Yeah. So I've got the website uh, for the place in the uh, in the video description below. Um, but yeah, it's it's in Dayton, Ohio, uh, Clarkade. Uh, that's uh, C L A R K A D E, Clarkade, all one word. So, like I said, retro video game store with also the arcade in it. So, you know, like, thanks for joining me, guys. If you guys are ever in Dayton, Ohio, or if you're in the Ohio area, I know a couple people back on uh, Facebook groups have said that they're in like the Columbus area. They've never heard of this place. Like, you know, get the word out. You know, tell your friends if you're passing your town, if you're nearby, come check the place out. So, Ray. I will catch you soon. Uh, Ray and some of the uh, the Musketeers are going to be joining me in Maryland at the Bradcade uh, the first weekend of May. So we're going to be doing a live stream from there. Uh, Ray, can't wait to see you, man. All right, buddy. See you soon. Good night, everybody. <laughs>